Okay, in just 10 days, Goldie went from super hip DJ to sewing with Anne Diamond. Mark and Sue became smoking buddies. Les took a long, slow journey into himself. And according to some sources, Melinda Messenger's building a Death Star and taking over the universe. It could only happen on Celebrity Big Brother. Persons Helpline, Rethink and Samaritans. Now, still haven't made your mind up. Okay, don't panic. Um, here is what's been happening today. Day 10, 4.44 a.m. For their final night, the housemates have all decided to sleep in the same room. Brothers given the housemates a task. They must create a photo story about an event in one of their lives. Now, I personally think that an, an incident outside gives you more drama. <laughs> but just, just say like you're meeting with Wayne. Yeah. Just like we could make it like a, a we could have a, a doctor who looks into your eyes and falls in love and it's like curses. She's already been 
taken. <laughs> you know what I mean? But... Because those, those looks of like, hmm, you know, they, they do those in those photo clips, yeah. don't they, where they come in close and... <laughs> damn. And I love the idea of you sitting at the, the ending of it, you sitting in a car, all neck braced up and everything, and you going, hmm, he's a keeper. <laughs> Yes, I, I see what you mean. The only thing I was thinking is that we can't get to do the other housemates then, can we? We're not supposed to do the other housemates. It's not, ah. it's not impressions of other housemates. Okay. Do you so see what, what I mean? He's your natural Wayne. He's the Wayne. And then who would you be? I could be a doctor okay. in the hospital who like looks into your eyes and goes, curses, she's taken, kind of thing. But what about the car? Well, we just have to fashion the car, don't oh, we? Okay. You know? Well, let's have a think then. So, we, so there's that, or with your love of the chickens. My love for the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice one. I still like the Wayne story, but you don't. No, I do like it. But I'm just thinking... Tell me the story. Well, we met in a nightclub. <laughs> On our first date, we had a car accident. Fantastic story. And it is. First date. Wayne was covered head to toe in blood because he'd, he'd gone through the windscreen, cut all his head open. Broken his arm. I this mangled my leg. Such a good story. My lip was out. This there. is such a good. We can do lots of bits of makeup and kind yeah. of like bit. Some, oh, we haven't got any tomato sauce. No. Have we? Um, then what happened? Then we went off to the hospital. Um, it is a I, very good story. And then I had to get home. I had to go back to Swindon, so he drove me back up. His arm and plastic. Yeah, kind of break. It's a great finish. Yeah. That shot is the finished shot. The two of you in in the seats. Um, him in neck break and thing, and your thought bubble is, oh, he's a keeper. <laughs> you know what something I mean? wrong yeah. with a cooker. There's something Something's wrong. leaked into the bottom, which he's given oh, up. I think it's a better yeah, story no, than so. anything that's in here. Twelve forty-six p.m. Big Brother has provided the housemates with a digital camera, a printer, and other materials to make their photo stories. Me? No, it's a shame that we didn't see my um, gloves. And you can't see my uh, thing, the, the board, but never mind. And that my head wasn't Too late down. to even worry yeah. about that. My head, did, my head needed to be the lowest one to get the last. No, I know, I know. Have you got a pair of... Look. Do some more dots down, going down to yeah. it. Good, thank you. I think because we've done it in the style of a love story, it does need to be something quite cheesy at the end. I know it does, but I think just uh, I think it can be cheesy, but not just mm. in love at last or you know. Happy ever after. I oh, know I'm. Uh, okay. How about baby? You can drive my car. We've got oh, car stuff. We've got good. car stuff already. I didn't this is Big Brother. Housemates have five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, just write five anything, minutes. Les. Just okay. write anything. Right. You know, any one of the ones we've come up with, I think, will be fine, won't it? Says it. What about that last photo? Is it coming out? Uh, it's gone a bit quiet over there, hasn't it? Yeah, it has gone quiet quickly. Right, you carry on with that. What? Oh, no. What? Saying unsupported media size. Okay, well, that's not our fault. Okay. We need extra Jobs time. Jobs cancelled, press OK. That one. Who's going to go in and yeah. explain it to Big Brother? Is that the one? Mel, oh, is it that one? It's your story. No, you take it in. Mm. You take it in. But it's your yeah, story. No, you will deliver it. Come in on, perfect give it, fashion. give it, give it, give it. Print. It's going to fall out. Have then. they been coming out twenty by twenty-five? Had you noticed? Yeah, they, I think they've all been coming out the same size. Right. Well, if we we can only wait for that, can't we? And if all else fails. I've done it. A little sketch. Well, I did try to print out. Have we got any any other car pictures? No. Yeah. Do you want me to do um kind of? Do you want me to draw something? Go on then. More. Yeah. You want to leave that like that, or do you? Want... <laughs> yeah. I'll draw the two of you. Yeah. If there's one of you, just cut us both out. We've got to be ready. Finish. We've got to, the, the hoot is going to go in a second. No, that's good. That's good. Good. Well done. That's it. Job's done. Tell my friends. One house, mate. Please come to the diary. Yeah, I'll tell it. You take it in, Les. This seemed like the obvious story, really. You know, I mean, it is the way 
that Melinda and Wayne met, and it was love at first sight. Um, it's got all the elements. You've got drama in the car crash, and you have the happy ending that is still ongoing. We worked as a group. We really did all three of us work as a group, and I did the kind of bubbles and the um, and probably the kind of we we together came up with the with the captions by trial and error, um, and I did the drawing for the last one because we ran out of um, the printer. So a real team effort and a great one. I think this has been my favourite task. I've really enjoyed it. Didn't think I would, but um, it was fun. One twenty p.m. Good drawing at the end. Yeah, well, we had to do it, didn't we? Just had to. I don't. I don't ever draw anymore. I used to always draw, and you know, and man keeps saying, "Will you paint? Will you start painting?" You know, when we go to Norfolk and things. Yeah. Why don't you? I don't know, because. If I've got something like that, then it's really fun. I really enjoyed the whole arty mm. approach to that. The whole yeah. idea of us kind of in two hours coming up with that story and getting it together and then doing it. Yeah. I, I thought that was really a good, good achievement. And we did really work as a team, didn't we? You should draw, then. Two oh one PM. Oh, that big juggle bed. They're quite big, these. There you go. Wait, you see that? What's this? Watch this. You go one, two, three. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> They're really big. I'm getting hungry. I don't know what I want. I'll have um, spuds and oh, things and beans, but I don't know whether to have that tonight or whether you don't want to be too full tonight, though, do you? Probably best to eat now. <laughs> <laughs> Just eat whatever you fancy. I'm gonna have some sausage and beans. Um. <laughs> Not in a gay way, though. <laughs> no, I know that. <laughs> what a heavenly creature. <laughs> casting science find out after the break Goodbye to their privacy. Now, while they've been in there, they've been breaking up the place themselves under the 
shoots of scrutiny at the Big Brother cameras. And since then, they've dug holes in the garden, talked about their feelings, and played giant games. So, there they are now. And there are some giant hard Big Brother fans. <laughs> that piece lies in your hands. Now, if you want comedian and family entertainer Les to win, call 090 115 0901 If you want singer songwriter Mark to win, call 0901 That's 0901 If you want model and TV presenter Melinda Messenger to win, the boys are like, really? 0901 That's 0901 You're voting for the celebrity you want to win. And uh, 15 pence of every phone vote is going to be divided equally and donated to Centrepoint National Missing Persons Helpline, Rethink and Samaritans. Now, their friends and family are all over here. Um, do, well, do we think they're still speaking to them? I know, Wayne, you're going to still be speaking to Melinda because she is, of course, your wife. She is indeed. Now, listen, she's been called Darth Vader, for goodness sake. How are you taking that? See, now, the trouble is Goldie has played a Jedi mind trick on you all. <laughs> He's really the evil one. I mean, look at that screen. That's Princess Leia. She he's, is gorgeous. He's fooled you all. He's fooled you all. Now, now, when, how did you take her forgetting the anniversary? Oh, she's dead meat. <laughs> I'm going to kick some butt. Trust she me. did it. She said she does it every year. Every year without fail. One, two, three, number four. Four and, years. And the teeth. The teeth. So sweet. What no, a smile. But your, no, your son. Oh, the first yeah, one. absolutely. Oh. Yeah. And he's now got, Linda's teeth are pretty he's stellar got, as well. He's got a third one that she doesn't know about. Oh! Now, she's been branded emotionless. Is that fair? Have we seen all facets of Melinda? Emotionless or mentally stable? I mean, that would be my quote for Melinda throughout all of this. But, I mean, I, I think the difference for Melinda, she wasn't put up for nomination. So... So we didn't see that side. See that side. Why should she win? Yeah, she's just been real. She's been real. She's been herself. Hadn't hidden, it, hidden anything at all. Okay. She enjoyed it. Thank you very much. That's a message from Melinda's family. Right, we're over now with Mark's um, mum and dad and girlfriend. So now, Mary, tell us, um, did Mark have a game plan? No, he didn't have no game plan. No, he just went in with charity. That was it. And he just went in just to play the game and see what happened. Now, um, do you think he wants to win it, Pete? For the sake of all his supporters standing out here in the freezing cold, I think that'd be nice for him to win it. to win it. So he can clean the ice up when everybody's gone out. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And now we've got Andy and Andy who are here for Les. Basically, um, Mum couldn't make it, could she? No, she's working tonight, doing cutting it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Les basically has found it quite hard in there, especially the nominating. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm, I'm really proud of him there because he's gone in and he's had the guts to be himself. Uh, you know, he's not going in being the game show host and uh, warts and all, that's what he said. And I think he genuinely liked everybody, so, and he take, you know, he just think about things very deeply, so, uh, yeah, I think he liked everybody, so it's hard for We've him. We've had real light and shade with Les, because when he was dark, he was very, very dark, but when he was funny, he was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I think the great thing about him as well is that everyone thought, oh, here's this Les Dennis, game show host. He's gone in, and I think what he's proved tonight is he's a juggler, you saw that, he's an artist. <laughs> And he's a fine keeper of chickens. And I think he's also he's... very intense. Is he normally that intense? He is, he is that intense, but he's a thinker. And I think that's what he said when I go in, I want to prove that I'm not just a cheesy game show host. If he'd gone in and gone, eh, eh, and, you know, my service and all that, it would have been a bit boring. But he's just been a normal bloke. And that's why I think we're really thrilled that he's done that. So that's basically why you think he should win. Absolutely. Yes. He's not been fouled to anyone. <laughs> oh, no, he's so... You're appalling with your jokes. OK, we... <laughs> We've heard from those nearest and dearest to our housemates, but what do the celebrities of Great Britain think? Hello, um, I'm Lauren Laverne, and I think that Mark Owen is going to romp home to victory. He's aesthetically very, very pleasing, so uh, I think, yeah, he's got it all. Owen for victory, Ford Owen. Who do I think's going to win? Yeah. I've got to go for Melinda Messenger. She's a sun girl, so I'm vouching for her, but I have got these things wrong in the past, so if I am wrong, don't shoot the messenger. The winner, guarantee, Les Dennis. Tell you why, three reasons. One, uh, he's very insecure and I think he needs to win. Two, he's been very, very entertaining. And three, he will get more money for Panso next year. Uh, no, look, I'm sorry, Les Dennis. Oh, I cried. Oh, it's my wife. Les Dennis will win. I think Melinda's going to win because um, you can't find any faults about her. She, I think she's going to be a bit of a people person. She's a little saviour. I like Les. Oh, 
think he's a nice bloke. Yes, I, I think he's got a genuine heart, and I like Melinda's him. sweet. I guess we would say, because she's young and blonde and beautiful. See, I'm in Australia, so I don't really know, but a rumour goes round that Melinda Messenger is still running a decent race. So Melinda it is, conclusively. I think Mark will win. I have no idea who's going to win. It's a right nightmare. I think Melinda will win because, on past experience, beauty does win Big Brother quite often. I think Mark's going to win. Yeah. What about you? I'm kind of hoping Mark's going to win because I think he's coming from being the underdog to being sort of everyone's favourite. I think he's a favourite, but I quite like. I'd like less to surprise everyone. I think the winner's going to be Melinda because she's hoodwinked the nation. But I wish it was Les. I'm really sucked into it now, but I think it's going to get down to Mark and Melinda. Vacuum cleaner! I think Melinda is going to win. I don't think there's any doubt about it because she's soft and she's sexy and she's absolutely perfect, like an exocet missile. Bam! She is going to win. Very across the board there. Okay, now tonight is all about making your mind up about who you want to win. So the numbers are going to come up. I'm on your screen, so keep voting, and uh, to help us get under the skin of the three remaining celebrities, we've got our resident Big Brother psychologist, Peter Collett and Sandra Scott! Yeah. Now, what you guys are going to do is we're going to talk about um, housemates on their own. I believe you're going to talk about Les and Mark, and you're going to talk about Melinda. Right. And what we're going to do is we're going to show clips, aren't we, sort of mm -hmm. demonstrating what you want to talk about. Now, first of all, Les, uh -huh. um, psychologist dream. He certainly is that. You know, there's one thing about celebrities. The one defining feature is the fact that they, more than anybody else, thrive on approval. And you can see this very, very clearly in the case of Les. <laughs> you know, the one thing he just wants more than anything else is to be loved by everybody. Now, we're going to look at little, three little clips uh, in his case. In the first, you're going to see him emerging from the diary room. He's just nominated Sue and Anne. And, and they feeling, knew, didn't yeah, they? And he's feeling it was terrible public, about it. Yeah. And he's clearly in need of some kind of support. In the second, you see him with Anne in the kitchen, again, looking for some kind of sympathy. And in the final one, you see him very much in his element, this time the playing comedian. the film, being theatrical, and getting other people to laugh. Okay, let's just take a quick look. Don't worry. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, don't be <laughs> silly. Don't be silly. It's a game. Come on. Don't be silly. You have I didn't to nominate throw it. Others, I didn't so. throw it. Don't, you would never think I threw oh, it, would no. you? No, now you're looking for, now you're twisting things around. <laughs> I am the widow, Kylie, and Jack has left me a lovely present. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Get off my. Get out I of my room. I haven't touched your box. Get out of my room. This is my box. Get to market and sell the cow. You see, he's got so many sides to him. There's the quite down and really hard on himself side, and the very funny side. Absolutely. It's been a real roller coaster for him. But what's interesting about that first scene mm -hmm. is the way in which he emerges from the diary room. You can see him affecting a really quite convincing display of anguish. You know, he schleps along. Act? I do, actually, yes. Conscious or subconscious? Well, I think it's unconscious. Right. And you can see he uses this rather characteristic uh, gesture of his where he grabs his forehead. Oh, oh, yeah. oh is he in trouble? <laughs> and of course, everybody else responds to it. The moment he sits down, he's enveloped in this wonderfully exquisite scrum of sympathy. Now, what's interesting there is that it's actually Sue and Anne who've been nominated. And they should be the ones who have the sympathy. They're the ones who are in need of consoling. But who gets it? Les. And they too are performers in need of approval. Yep. And so also, though, the performance side, I mean, there's a scientific name for that, isn't there, that we used earlier yep. on? What's there it called is. again? Al Ultracasting. Ultracasting. Now, this is a classic <laughs> example of ultracasting. <laughs> In other words, what he's managed to do is to project all the others into roles that actually suit him personally. Right. And now, he does that kind of with his comedy as well, in a funny kind of he thing. He does. He does. Sets the scene mm. so he can be very funny. Mm. What's interesting about the... The, the comedy scene is the way in which he uses laughter. Now, laughter is actually very critical to him. And what's emerged from psychological research is this discovery that there's actually quite an intimate relationship between laughter on the one hand and status on the other. So, for example, if I manage to make you laugh, that will elevate Definitely. me in your opinion. <laughs> Definitely. And that's exactly what it's doing for him. Not only is it actually locating him. In the, as the centre of attention, and at the same time getting other people to enjoy themselves, but is also making him feel much, much better about himself. Powerful. Okay, thank you very much. We're going to move on now to Melinda. Sandra, right. um, 
Tell us what we should be looking out for in the clips that you're going to show us. Well, ultimately, you know, Melinda comes across badly in emotional situations. And that's because for her, being in the big brother house is a job. And that makes it a professional issue and not an emotional one. She doesn't want to share her emotions. So when it comes to emotional situations, she has difficulty. And ultimately, she either tries to control them or they come out uncomfortable, exaggerated, and generally false. And that comes, goes down badly. So in the clips, we should look at her trying to control her emotions. OK, let's take a look. I've just got Melinda going, hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you feel better? I feel better. Can you, like, you not ask. smile for a minute? Just do you just wipe it off your face. Smile for me one more time. <laughs> yeah, please. Give me a kiss. The male ripping it out of me. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Susan. So there, I kind of, when she was with Goldie, I mm. wanted her to sort of, she was obviously upset by it, to just yeah. go, actually, you know what? Shut up. Oh, I'm upset. I mean, I mean, she had a real dilemma. As I said, she looked upon this as a job. And as a job, she wanted to win. So she set about in a very professional manner, trying to sort of fulfill all the needs of the group. And groups had two needs. They need, and for these two needs, they need two types of leaders. One is a task leader to sort of do practical things, and a social emotional leader to take care of your emotional needs. Now, she's a great... But she's brilliant at Exactly, task. exactly. She's brilliant. a great task leader. She should be a task leader. Natural ability, she's smart. She's got a good way with people. But when she tried to fulfill the social emotional leadership role, that's when she fell work. down. She didn't want to form social uh, emotional bonds, and she wasn't able to do that. But you got a glimpse of the real uh, Melinda in the second bit. The because that was genuine. Yeah. She was trying to control her emotions, but it still came across as genuine. She'd make a great brown owl. Um, anyway, tasks. Um, <laughs> on to Mark. Right, Peter, what are we going to see with the clips on Mark? Well, I think Mark, it's fair to say that Mark is the most enigmatic of all. Isn't he? The housemates, yeah. Quite hard to read. Very hard to read. And that's partly because he's so reticent. And we're going to see that in the two clips. In the first clip, we're going to see him in the diary room, being quite mysterious, I think. And in the second clip, we're going to see him very much in his own element, uh, once again, organising other people. OK, let's take a look. I think this is almost one of the scariest bits coming in here. Talking to somebody that you can't see at the other side is, is, is probably one of the worst bits for me. So I don't really enjoy the coming into the diary room bit. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to keep it quite short on sure. Mark, but um, he basically is, is sort of just a lovely guy, isn't he? But he found Big Brother he is, very in intimidating. He's incredibly sensitive, actually, and you see this firstly in, this, in the first clip there. You can see, for example, the way in which he finds it difficult to form eye contact with what he deems to be something of an authority figure. Mm. Now, in psychological terms, he's very much what psychologists would call a beta uh, male. As opposed to an alpha male. As opposed to an alpha okay. male. Goldie and you see this very, male. very clearly in the early days, exactly, mm. when Goldie was strutting his stuff, uh, calling all the tunes, and interestingly, in a way, uh, Mark almost became invisible in that context. But well, if you watched him closely, what you find is that he was actually making <laughs> some very constructive suggestions about things that people could actually get on and do. That's why I think he's so good in the house, because he's quite inoffensive, but he's still playing in there. Anyway, thank you very much to uh, Peter and Sandra. Right, if you want alter caster Les, a new word, uh, to win, call 09011 that's 09011 or if you want beta mail, another new, full of them tonight, aren't you beta? Mark to win, call 09011 that's 09011 or if you want task leader, brown owl, Melinda, to win, call 09011 one five double four oh five. That's oh nine oh double one one five double four oh five. Now, guys, I know I've said it before, but it is really important that you vote for the celebrity that you want to win. Okay, join us after the break when Goldie, Anne, and Sue are going to be telling us who they want to win, and also we're going to be revealing who's come third. <laughs> Okay, before we announce the results, though, here to tell us...
just what they think is going to happen are. And Diamond Goldie and Sue Baggins! <laughs> right, I'm going to start off with Anne. Anne, how weird has it been being out watching the house? Really, really strange being out. I've got used to being in, but it's nice to be out. I'd rather be out. Your kids are just so gorgeous. Oh, it was the most wonderful moment on this earth, walking out and seeing them. When you said all your boys are here, oh. I just went to pieces. What have you been doing since we last saw you? I have been sleeping. Yay. I have had a drink. And um, more drink. Uh, more drink, yes. And um, could you please tell us who you would like to win Celebrity Big Brother? I want Mark to win. Okay, Goldie. Yes. You alpha male, you. Okay, tell me, um, what have you been doing since you got out? Um, well, I've got to go and DJ in three hours. In Where are you doing that? Salisbury. Okay, everybody head down to Salisbury tonight for <laughs> yeah, Goldie. Yeah. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been, re I've actually been sleeping real sleep. It's been a bit like car sleeping there, do you know what I mean? That's what Anne just said. And, it's um, like it's, it's been weird. So I've been sleeping a lot, which has been great. Walking the dog, doing normal things and stuff. Did you watch them at all in the house after? Yeah, so I watched them, I watched them in the evening and, and I, was, I said to the missus, turn the volume up. And it was, it was like, <laughs> something happened. Like, it's, hello! Uh, yeah, but it's, um, it's been, uh, my wife says, come on, you've got to turn it over, leave it alone now! <laughs> So listen, Goldie. Yes. Who do you want to win, Celebrity Big Brother? Well, Les has let me down a little bit. He's fell apart a little bit in the last dying moments. So he needs his partnership, but I want Mark to win. Okay, I'm going round to Sue. I'm going round to Sue. Sue. Yes. 24 hours since I saw you. Yes. How has your life changed in the last 24 hours? Um, I've learned that I'm omega female, which is good. Um, Hi. Yes, very good news. Um, I haven't slept at all. And at all? No, do you know why? Why? I'm wearing Marco Owen's trousers! <laughs> you are the envy of every girl. And he man here. He gave them to me, along with a little Christmas. I'd like to say, without question, I would like Marco Owen to win! Yay! <laughs> okay, guys, if you stay there for a minute, I'm now going to announce who has come third? So I'm going to talk to the house. Big Brother House. Hello, Davina. This is Davina. You are live <laughs> on Channel 4. The votes have been counted and verified. I can now reveal that the person who has come third in Celebrity Big Brother is... Melinda. Guys seconds. in there. Okay, don't forget, you can still vote for the final two. Ten, oh. Ten, oh. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Melinda, you have been evicted. Please leave the paper eyes.
going to close in three minutes and the number, numbers are on your screen now. Anyway, her smile could dazzle an egg out of a chicken. Huh? They did lay a couple of eggs. They did. It's Melinda Messenger! Yeah. Are you all right sat here? Because I'm sure, you know, the whole point of Celebrity Big Brother was to raise a bit of money for charity, yeah. but was also to win. Was it ever in your game plan? Did you really want to win? No, I never thought I ever would. I, I kind of thought I'd be, um, well, I don't know. I thought it'd be nice to make it but to the halfway mark. Um, but no, I never thought I would. One particular tabloid paper will be crying. Oh, really? Um, today, they've been supporting you like mad. Oh, well, all of them have, really, but one in particular. Okay. You know the one. Um, how did, <laughs> sort of, unlike any other housemate in there, um, you definitely saw this as a game from the minute you went in. Well, I mean, I've watched all the, uh, all the previous Big Brothers, so I knew what I was letting myself in for. I knew what was going to be involved. I knew it wasn't going to be easy and there would be times when it would get stressful, but at the same time I knew it was all over in ten days. But how did you deal with it when it got stressful? Because you didn't seem to get riled by anything. Well, there wasn't, I mean, there was, to be fair, there wasn't an awful lot to be riled about. Uh, well, there was one or two moments, perhaps. Yes. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, I'd, I, if it got really, if it really did get to me, then I'd go and have a little sleep and what escape. What I to do this. Yes. Little... Did you cry? I did once. I did once. It wasn't, yeah, I did once. I did have a little it's all kind right of. To cry. I know, I know. But I kind of kept thinking, it's only a TV program, but it was like one of those, I just really want to go home now and I miss everybody and, I, As and I'm looked at my babies and made a mistake uh, about them. Yes. But as, as a viewer, in a funny kind of way, I almost was like willing you to crack somewhere because oh, I was really? thinking, God, she's just so perfect. You look gorgeous for a start, doesn't she? Yay! Yeah. And, Thanks, and always <laughs> smiling and always looking on the positive side of everything. And in a sense, it was almost like, well, come on, something must crack. So I thought, ah, I was going to get the message from Wayne. She's definitely yeah. going to go then. And you didn't? No, but then I knew I was going home the next day. So yeah. it was like, well, I'm going, you know, I, it got to me and then I thought, I'm going home tomorrow. I'm going home and I'm going to see them then. You did forget the anniversary. I did. <laughs> however, <laughs> like, however, I didn't have a calendar, didn't have a date. I said, we should have been marking up the dates on the wall. So that's my excuse. I said, I'm going to get a tattoo. I'll have it tattooed upon my person and I won't forget it again. Oh, we'll have to hold you to that. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Um, when you um, were in the house, there was a little bit of a contretemps yes. with, um, with one other housemate, yes. and that was Goldie. Um, no, now, was it just me? I wasn't sure if it was just me or not. Well, I, he definitely was allergic to you yeah. in some, in some form or another. He was. I mean, he did own up to that when he came out, Which is but fair I enough. think he too wanted you to crack. And, uh, and, and I think that's maybe oh. that he was kind of goading you yeah. to crack, oh, and you still did. That will make you stronger. But do you know what he ended up calling you? <laughs> I don't think. No, 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 it's not that bad, is it? But, it, but it's kind of stuck, I'm afraid. What? what they me? And the name that you've kind of been labelled with, Wayne, you're going to back me no, up there, over the past few days, well, there's a couple. Uh, <laughs> but it's middle. One, one of them is Darth Vader. Darth Vader! <laughs> but, but you're building a Death Star, and you are actually Darth Vader. Behind the smile, there is a dark force. I do have a oh, that was quite breath. good. Yes. Yeah, there's, no, there's something there. And the other one was that um, was from Sue, and that was that you are a Vulcan. Um, oh, and Sue. Because, well, I think, do you know what it was? You know those, um, she found nominating very hard. Yeah. And you didn't. Well, not that I didn't find it hard, but I, you know, as I explained, the, the way I saw it is that was the whole point of the show. Yeah. You know, and we knew that that wasn't going to be particularly nice, but at the same time, we knew that it wasn't anything personal. And mm. in real life, you wouldn't go in there and, and, and say that or necessarily feel that, but you were being forced to think of something. Um, you know, unfortunately, it, you know, it, obviously that's the negative side of it, but you know, who didn't know that that was going to happen? I think, or I think some people, the stress is for them going into the house and being filmed, and that's, some people... I don't think thought beyond that and suddenly when it came to nominations it was like oh actually yeah. I forgot about this part yeah and this is really difficult especially when you get to know yeah. people in the house it wasn't nice and, it, and, it, and I you know I, I didn't enjoy it at all but you know it's it, at the end of the day that is part of the program I think what Sue was trying to do was confide in you and she felt a bit silly in the end, so that's Aww. why, that's why... Well, I always felt we were kind of, yeah, no, I always kind of thought we were giving, we were like a little cat and a dog, we were giving the wrong signals to one another, you know, kind of like a wag of the tail meant, 
keep away. And, uh, and I think that was what was going on. Um, what about the other housemates? I mean, who did you gel with in there? Uh, I love Les and I love Mark. You got on with the last two, really like a house and smashing smashing blokes. Yeah, they are. They are absolutely. Now, gorgeous. what is it about Les that you love? Um, oh, well, he's just so. He's warm and genuine and, and funny and um, honest and. Uh, well, he's just. He's lovable. And he talks to the chickens. Yeah. And the same for Mark. Sings too many show tunes. It, well, yeah. we like that. We missed Anne. Did, you yeah, missed we Anne really with the missed singing? Anne. Yes. No, but she was a good mother figure, wasn't she? Was. she? What? Melinda, come on. We all right. got a bit naughty on Melinda. Sure. Melinda. Yes. What annoyed you in that house? There must have been something. Uh. Dig deep, Melinda. <laughs> come on! Come okay. on! Uh, what annoyed me? Well, I, can't, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, really. I suppose the conflict with Goldie got to me because I was starting to feel really paranoid and I was thinking, it's just me, it's just me. And I'm thinking, why am I getting like this? And I thought, well, it's probably just because there's no escape, there's no way of getting away. So I guess if anything got to me, then that was, that was it. Okay, something got to um, your other housemates. Uh, it was something that you said um, and indeed the way that you said it. Let's just take a quick look. Windy pops. Sorry. <laughs> In this house, there is someone who says, who puts e-pops after everything. I've had windy pops on my friend when I was pregnant. Are you really wishing windy pops I am? Oh, I've got windy pops tonight. <laughs> I love my windy yeah. pops yeah. and my yeah. kidsy yeah. pops oh, and my darksy pops. I've got a bit of the old windy pops now, I'm afraid. <laughs> who says windy pops and gets away with it in the modern world? Oh, oh, I've got two oh, years That's my excuse, so I'm sticking to it. I've watched Tweenies. Can, hey, can you name them all? <laughs> yes. Uh, that's tragic. Right, okay. okay. <laughs> Jake. I think I can as well. Yes. Is. Okay. Um, what do you think your role was in the house? I don't think I really had one. Um, do you know what we decided with the psychologists? What? That you were a great task person. Okay. You thrived in the task. I did like tasks. Yeah. Yeah. You'd make a great brown owl. That's what I decided. <laughs> great brownie. Yeah. Great. No brown owl. You've brown got to. Okay. got to boss them all around yeah. with their badges and everything. <laughs> and what did you want to get out of it, Big um, Brother? Just the experience. Just being in there and seeing what it was like and seeing how I would cope or wouldn't cope. Were you pleased with the way you coped? Uh, not always, no. But I was, I, I was glad to be there. I was, I, I enjoyed it. I, we laughed every day. There was something, I, and I, you know, although there were the occasional spats, I thought everybody that I was in there with was an interesting person, and you know, and got something from them. Are you going to stay in touch with any of them? Um, well, not now. No. <laughs> no, I would like to. I would like to, but we'll see. You could challenge Goldie to a duel. Yes. I'd say good night, see. Her. <laughs> um, Melinda, thank you so much for taking part in Big Brother for and for being me. such a good sport. And uh, we've really enjoyed watching you. And here are some of your best things. See you. No escape. Uh, Melinda's like the sun. She's like brightening the place up. I've never lived with, with people that I don't know. I thought that that would be really difficult, but, but actually it isn't that difficult. It's like being a child again, where you have no responsibilities and you have no real worries and real concerns. Are you this, lads? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm visualising a, a mascara. You're melting my outfit. Are you me not with a pretty face, Melinda? Blushes our saviour. Blushes our friend. You are such a sage. What were you going to study? Philosophy. Religion is a way of understanding. That seems real, that's ever, that's bad. But whoever reckons they'll be best should go last because they'll be less ducks to get. It's either down to the incubation of the chicken or the oh, egg itself. Oh, yeah. The smart you are, Melinda. I rest my case. Oh. <laughs> I had a slight dip in the day where I'm missing the babbies and missing home. So although I was expecting it, uh, what surprised me is the fact that it is really that intense. <laughs> Oh, well, there it is. That's the shot that won the game. He's disgusting. Oh, it's got Melinda going. Oh, the man's a monster. 
it up really well. It's what I imagined it to be. Um, and it's more. No transmission. <laughs> Talking more, and he is just such a lovely guy. I love them both. I really love them both. I'd love if they could both win. Okay, let's take a look at them both in the house. Big Brother. Crowd, are you ready? Yeah. Luba, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here goes. Linda, if you just want to wait there, okay. I'm going to speak to the house. My card's upside down. <laughs> Big Brother House, this is Davina. You are live on Channel 4. The votes have been counted and verified, and I can now reveal that the winner of Celebrity Big Brother is... Mark Allen! Well done, mate. Well done. Fantastic. Okay. Les, yeah. okay. you've got 30 seconds to say goodbye. I'm coming to get you. Mark, you uh, stay there. I'm going to get you in a minute. 30 seconds. <laughs> See the bar. Uh, if you go up there and go and give Wayne a seconds. big old Bar chickens!
and go. It's been a fantastic time. We've all had a great time. Look at him. You know what he said to me before I went? He said, he said, if you're last out, will you clean up my glass? He wanted me, he wanted me to actually wash his glass. The one glass that there's actually only one glass fighting. remaining. I hope he's going to wash up that ashtray oh, he's, he's before he goes. It up. He's already washed, he's his, washed his glass, his glass yeah, already. Okay, now, he needs an introduction. You can't just start talking. He, the daddy of the house, his best friend of the chickens. It's Les, everyone! <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I mean, just coming out on the reception and seeing people and seeing banners, banners for people know, and seeing great. banners for... The, the funniest one was when it said, Les, take that, and it had a boxing glove. So, I mean, um, it was amazing. It was just fantastic. I, I've just had the best time. It's been brilliant. Now, you said that you... Oh, by the way, very quickly, Amanda wasn't here to greet you. You had the yeah, two I've got... Andys, very dubious. <laughs> one of Andy and Andy. Very, yeah. very worrying. But anyway... Andy um, said he was worried that I was going to... Um, Make love to a chicken. Yes, well, we were all a bit worried about that at one point. But anyway, um, Les, Amanda's got a little message for you because she couldn't be here tonight. I know, she's filming, she's, she's filming. filming so right, here's okay. the message. Um, at this point, we have no idea where you've come, um, but you've done so well to get through to the last three. Yes, you have. Um, you've been yourself, you've been very brave, you've been um, extremely honest. Very and funny. Very talkative <laughs> with the chicken. Yes, what's Fantastic. that about? You should be lying. Yes. Um, and you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing you, and I'm very sorry I can't be there, but we're filming. We're and all very we're proud all of you, Very proud. Well done. your sort of audition tape as it were you did mm -hmm. that very funny um spoof of the commercial forgotten that. Um, yeah, that was and you ago. said warts and all i want everybody to see me warts and all did i show you warts now, and all well kind of yeah okay. i mean i don't know if we saw everything but we saw a lot <laughs> okay. which was, but i think that's a good thing okay and, thank I, you. and is that what you wanted i think it's what i wanted i mean you know i, I wanted to go in and be me and I think it probably was, obviously. <laughs> if it was warts and all, I think, yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to do, is just, uh, you know, you kind of, you have a game show for 15 years, and, you, and everybody sees a cheery, smiley Les, and it's not the whole deal. You know, there's a lot more to me than that. So I think I wanted to show that. And you did, but is there <laughs> yeah, some... Yeah, I know I did. There, you kind of worried a lot about letting people down outside the house. Yes. Yeah. In what respect did you think that you could let them down? Well, you know, I mean, the thing is about being in this game, about being a celebrity, is that we ask for it, you know? We ask to be there, we ask um, for the cameras in our face. If I talk about, and I did talk about Philip, and thankfully he's here, my son Philip, you know, he doesn't necessarily want it, and he has to deal with that when he goes to work the next day. So I didn't want to let anybody down. I didn't want to let, you know, Can any I of my loved ones down. Can I just show you something quickly? Yeah. Mark's crying. Oh, oh, my God, he is. He's absolutely... Oh. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt you there, but I thought oh. you might want to see that. He is... Yeah. He's the Messiah. <laughs> Mark, well, I look. think I think he's kind of surprised us all a little bit. Yeah, what did you think of Mark? When you initially went into the house, did you have any preconceived ideas about... Mark, for instance, or your other house? I, I have to say that, you know, wh when it came to take that, I didn't know which one Mark was. It's like Ant and Deck. I didn't know who was who, you know. Right, and, yeah. So it was that kind of thing that when, when he came in, I thought, oh, it's, that's Mark, that's the one. When he came in, I didn't have any preconceptions about him, no. But um, he just has sailed through it. He's got you know a nice what I mean? aura. He's got a fantastic aura, a really, really brilliant aura. You know what he just said to me? He said, I hope you win, which is absolutely lovely, you know. And look at him, he's, Aww. I mean, that is so moving. <laughs> he's my new mate. I know. Well, well, I'll move on to your mates in a minute. But they're Just all want to mates. go back to um, you um, talking in the house and revealing.
kind of all facets of you. Yeah. Um, there was one point where you went into the diary room and you had a chat with Big Brother and you said, um, Big Brother said, um, do you feel you're being yourself? And you said, no, I think I'm performing. And at that point, I really didn't, I didn't think that you've been performing. Do you think you are unnecessarily hard on yourself? I think, I think that if you, you know, all I've done in my life since I left school is be a performer. You know, I've never had a proper job. But that's so, a great thing. Yes, I know it is, but it kind of like, I, when I go to parties, I don't perform. I don't perform as much as I performed in there. When I'm, when I'm in, but, in private, I'm, I'm mm. much quieter. They'll all know that. But you in know? a sense, when you're in a large group of people, it's good to have fun and let your head yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. But it's almost like you were a bit at the beginning wary of doing that in case people thought that performing was... Kind of, oh, look, he's performing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I talked about it in there that kind of in the 80s, um, people who were in light entertainment and kind of mainstream were kind of seen as like a bit naff, and, yeah. and I didn't want to be naff. So, right. so I was worried about that, and I thought, oh, I've just done Silla Black. To change I've just done Silla oh, Black, and that was, that. <laughs> that was very you know, funny. Or I've just done something, you know. Something uh, else GMTV you, spoof. GMTV, 6 o'clock in the morning, also a great moment with Goldie, Goldie and Mark. Goldie, me and, well, Goldie, you and Goldie. Me, and Goldie, me and Goldie for two days, I mean, that could not have kept up. It was amazing, it was an amazing time. who in their wildest dreams could have seen you and Goldie coming? Like, if somebody <laughs> said to me, do you know what, Les Dennis is going to just hit it off so massively with Goldie. You know, I don't know whether he got like, it, but he, he said to me, he said, mate, I'd invite you to, um, to uh, the Fabric Club, you know. He said, but you get stoned. <laughs> he said, don't come, mate. They rip your head. Off. <laughs> jog on, Rip your head jog on, he We've said. all learned jog a new on. one from that. Yeah. Something you did find incredibly hard in the house was nominating. Yeah. And that well, really I had that tore your solo talk. nomination, and that was very hard, yeah. Well, even the, fir the first time you nominated, it was a nightmare. Mm. Uh, but then you realised that you'd been nominated. Yeah. And you yeah. went in and you said, right, next time it comes to nominating, I'm just going to go in there yeah. and I'm just going to do it. Absolutely. No. But you didn't. No, because I had to do it on my own. Right. And that was, that was pretty tough. And you knew that they'd know. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know whether you've done that on this show before, but, I mean, that was a twist to me. I had never seen that, and it was really, really hard. Now, it kind of sparked off a bit of paranoia in you that you thought that maybe people might think that you'd thrown the competition. I know, I know, which, I know, but that's Which, me. actually, none of us had thought about until you mentioned it. Right. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was the next morning I woke up and thought, I could have just blown three questions and got a bye. Nobody that's what thought I was worried you'd about. done that. Nobody no, thought you'd done I that. did. I did. I worried about people worrying about it. But that house. That's me. But that house kind of breeds paranoia. Let's just take yeah. a quick look. You go right. Oh, is this all my paranoid moments? Someone's <laughs> trying to wind me up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I started getting paranoid because I went through my case and I brought more T-shirts than that. Yeah. That is a stitch up. Because <laughs> you know, like the raffle through your stuff, and I thought they're taking more. They take a few out. <laughs> Where's the camera here? I was behind that. There is it. What's the bastard there that keeps following me? <laughs> Everywhere I go, he follows me. Which I'm getting paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> Mark had a brilliant idea. We were left with the camera because we did a, a task today. We were left with the digital camera and he went over to his favourite camera and he said, will you take a photo of me with my favourite camera? Because they become, they're like little, they're like characters. Little people. They're like little people. And you know, that one in the bedroom, I, I, I didn't like him then, but I got to like him. He's lovely. He's really <laughs> nice. He's nearly, I've got, he's up there with Steve the chicken. <laughs> Oh, Bex. your chickens that laid eggs. Laid eggs? For you. I mean, they took their time, We were, didn't we they? were proud. They took you their time. You were so proud, weren't you? I was so, it was so proud. Sweet. I was so proud. Listen, just I very, thought... very quickly, um, who were your sort of best friends in the house? Oh, uh, I, I don't have any best friends. I was so pleased to see all of them there tonight. That, you know, I think... Uh, no, I don't have a best friend. We all, we all got on great. And uh, to be there at the end with Davina and Mark... Davina? Mel. I keep calling Mel Davina for some reason. Some strange got reason. me on your mind. Mel and Mark was, was fantastic. It was a lovely threesome. And look what he's going through. What is he going through? I look know. at what he's going through. We should I put know. him out of his misery I know, soon. Very soon. Go and talk very to him. Soon. Um, so listen, did you enjoy it most importantly? Oh, just, you know, I had worries about coming in, but... Um, I just had the best time. Had low moments like, moments like we all did. Uh, but I just had a great, great time. It was so it's lovely, lovely we time. We thought you might have had quite a good time. That's why we compiled this for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I came in, I said, I'm determined to be me. If I put something down, I never know oh, where no, it is. I put my glass down. I don't know where that's gone now. Uh, so 
sometimes I'm aware that I'm performing. I knew I liked you, flirty. <laughs> I'm chicken. <laughs> Same question to number three from our class. <laughs> no. I wish I'd stop bloody singing all the time because it must drive people around the band. I've never been in love before. I'd like to be more myself than I'm going to be. <laughs> Let's crack one off! Let's! Let's hear your best moments. <laughs> I'm looking forward to missing the chickens. Hello, girls. I've already started to bond with them. <laughs> I'm going to show you one more time. <laughs> I don't know whether you can prepare yourself for how it's going to feel. Do I have to go back into the diary room? Yeah, that's Les, can you please give the name of your first nomination? It's... I don't... I do this. So no, don't! It's silly! silly. It's a game! I think some people want to win. I mean, Les has been very honest. He's a silly honest winner. Come on, Les. Come on. It's been harder than I expected it to be. But it has been a lot of fun. Yes! Les, a total sweetheart. Oh, said. I have had a brilliant time. I would not have missed it. Really wouldn't have missed it for the world. Thanks a lot. I'll see you soon. Thanks for doing this. We'll see you next week. Bye. Can I just say yes. that, okay, I did do it on that live thing, yes. but then the next time it happened, it was somebody else on the sofa, and yeah, I got blamed yeah. like the dog. Yeah, like yeah. the dog. They all went, it's Les, and it was not me, and I got the reputation. All right, yeah, you did. And the, and the burping. Come on, Les, let's go outside. <laughs> You know, what's the thing that you missed the most when you were in the house? What did I miss most? Yeah. Um, I think probably Amanda is probably the thing that I missed most. We're well, going to see it very soon. We're going to yeah. now take a quick look oh, at Mark perfect. and see how he's doing. Yeah.
very difficult for me to interview you now. I never thought I'd be able to. <laughs> it's great. Thank What's you. What's it feel I've like? Had, I've had a wonderful time. Thank you. What have been your favourite moments? I think Boo. What? Boo on Les. On Les Dennis last night when he was sleeping. That no, was so no. funny. We saw that. Yeah. You got into his bed. I got into his bed. And then I thought it was very sweet when you woke him up with the sound of tinkling water. <laughs> but they, they woke up earlier. I'm convinced that they started earlier than usual that morning. But it's all... Because it, we knew what you were up to. We're not that mean. I know. No, I, I think they you saw are. what I was trying to prepare and they, they got me. Did you ever in your wildest dreams think that you could win Celebrity Big Brother? I, um, no, well, I don't know. I don't know what I thought. <laughs> I, I wanted Les to win, really. Did you? Yeah. Why? Just because, you know, he's been through a lot and he, he was a star in there and he helped me to get through it. And I, I was, my, he had my vote, Les. Like. How did he help you to get through it? He's just mad and, you know, he's, he's been great to watch and I've, I've just enjoyed the whole experience, everybody. But... What did you? What did, oh no! Did you hear what he just said? He just said, "I'm a bit out of practice. Sorry." <laughs> later, later. Um, so, Mark. Yes. Tell me, what did you miss the most when you were in the house? Um. Well, one tea bags were getting low, so that was quite yeah. difficult. Yeah. Bags were bags were a problem. Bags were a problem, and um, just people. Really? I mean, there were people in there, but just being able to go wherever you wanted, I suppose, was the, the thing, really. What was your maddest moment in there? The maddest moment? I, I, I had a, a morning where I woke up and Les Dennis was in one mirror putting on his aftershave and Goldie was at the side of his shaving, and I just thought, oh, dear. <laughs> where the hell am I? But, where am I? What am I doing? Yeah. And what did you enjoy about it? Um, just the experience, to be honest, that that the people who were in there thought they were all great and uh who was your sort of best friend um i think sue kind of became my best Yay! friend she thought that about you as well yeah. but i felt terrible you know because i nominated sue she took it she took it as it was supposed to be taken she took it very well indeed yeah, good good i'm pleased about that she nominated you once as well but only because she had to on a rotor <laughs> Did she, have yeah, a she had a rotor good girl yeah yeah That's awesome. So, um, out of the whole experience, what were your lasting memories of Big Brother B? I think just hearing my name then when you said it. I really... Mark, you cried a bit earlier. Yeah. What was going through your mind then? I just thought, oh no, shit, I really didn't ex expect it. I just thought, shit. Mm. I just didn't know. I just, I just thought, oh no, what's... A bit overwhelming. Yes. Would you do it again? Yes, totally. Great! Yeah. We'll see you next year. Okay. <laughs> Listen, hope... Mark, yeah. how much do we love Mark Owen? How much do we love yeah. Mark Owen? I said, I noticed I said Mingo, minging as well a few times, didn't I? That's all right. Is that all right? You're allowed to say minging. Right, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Celebrity Big Brother, Mark Owen. Let's show you your best moments. Here they are. We want Owen. Mark is gorgeous. I don't know whether there's another word for it. He's just lovely. Yeah. Initially, it was scary to come in. But once you're in, I think going out is more scary. Do you know who I am? I'm Robbie's mate. <laughs> Take that. It's interesting watching the other people in the house. Excuse me, could we not ignore this poor attention seeker here? I feel sometimes a little bit on the outside, which I don't mind. I think anybody feels like that. People are insecure. <laughs> Keeping myself busy, really. Cleaning and cleaning. They can take my washing up liquid, but they can't take my window cleaner. Yay! Do it! Yay! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, anybody? Oh, I love you. I do love you. Oh, 
Oh, oh, tea bags. How are they running out? Can I have some tea bags? It's not too much for Any tea bags? Did they have tea bags in the 80s? This is some big chance. Hollywood, I hope you're watching. I'm so fond of Mark. I would not want to be here without him. I don't laugh really as much as I should, and I've, I've had a scream. I've got a confession to make. I'm not really my coin. You've got a little haircut in there? Yeah, I've got a haircut. Melinda did I was convinced Melinda was trying to give you a Wayne haircut. Thank you for the haircut. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And if this has whet your appetite a little bit,